Howdy folks, Mangy Fedlocks here with a musical commentary on the antisocial nature of some social media. When you feel you're all alone, you can just stare at your phone and pretend that you're not lonely anymore. If you're too lethargic for a walk, at your cell phone you can gawk and use Google Maps to virtually explore. When you're driving in your car, you don't need to travel far, but still crave a small distraction, you can text. With no extra thought or labor, you may run over your neighbor and transport them straight from this world to the next. And the social media helps folks to all be equally deluded. At the social media, you're better off if you are not included. While at dinner with your pals, even good old boys or gals may share stories told too many times before. Just pretend you've got a call and you can't hear them at all, so you needn't tell them straight out they're a bore. When your parents talk to you, there is something you can do to ensure you let them know you don't much care. Checking Facebook or your Twitter sends the message you are bitter cause your parents are to blame that life's unfair. Anti-social media helps folks to all be constantly distracted. Anti-social media I liked it more when people interacted. When the baby's in the pool and you think it's so uncool how some parents watch each move their children make. You can text friends if you've got them while the tyke sinks to the bottom and they'll learn later to share a selfie from the wake. That's a really hard part to say. If a spouse is eating food, rest assured this isn't rude. As they start to choke, update your Facebook page. Mark your status damn near single, then give 911 a jingle. It's the norm in social media for this age. And the social media helps folks learn to ignore the world around them. At the social media, we all were somewhat nicer before we found them. When poor grandma's facing death, fighting hard for every breath, there are games made for your phone to pass the time. Playing online heron tortoise may not stave off rigor mortis, but there is an app to show when she's flatlined. Oh, a phone's a wondrous thing, and its praise I gladly sing. We're connected as at no time in the past. Hordes of sedentary teens staring zombie-like at screens may be progress, but I pray it doesn't last. And I've still got a verse, but I got to turn the page so I can see what I'm doing here. It's also the problem being an older guy, my eyeballs dry out and they just don't work anymore. Though it's nice to stay in touch, there's such thing as way too much, and there's times a phone can really spoil the mood. When an orchestra begins, it's the height of social sins to broadcast your ringtone, what could be more rude? If you think back to your ex and how she texted during sex, that may be one of the reasons that you split. Sharing recipes with her mom, it was hard to just stay calm and a challenge getting certain parts to fit. And the social media is certainly both varied and profuse. And the social media, I'm not sure we are better off for its use. Thanks very much for listening. I hope that that one was good because my battery here is going dead and so is my computer. Take care.